Josh Naylor, home run prop, hit. Kikuchi, six plus Ks, prop, hit. 51 points from our FFBPs. Oh, and just a five-leg HRR parlay that hit at plus 1,077. Hope everybody had a fabulous weekend, and let's start off Monday night with the fancy firebox. Tony Cotillo here to get some more winners. Let's start off with the value pitchers. I'm going to go with Bryce Elder at 7,500 for the Atlanta Braves. Now, I know everybody's saying he had a down last half of the year, but he was still 12-4 and four last year. Started in AAA, and he had 10 games last year of six or more K. I'd like him to find his spot again after three starts in AAA of getting at least six Ks per start. Going up against the Marlins with a 23rd overall offense, their 15th in strikeouts, their 23rd in home runs and 21 in hits. Who scares me? Nobody. And then I'm going to go with a steady presence that I used to be able to attack, but make sure you get over to windowysports.com and click on that fantastic promo that we have right now. There is a link in this podcast for Home Run 100. That is where you get $100 off one of our biggest deals ever to get everything we offer, every tool, every projection model, every optimizer, every article, every Discord bet and prop and message alive right here at windowysports.com. And most importantly, you help me show that I'm doing the job that they hired me to do. Home Run 100, make sure you click on it, make sure you sign up, don't get left out in the dust and start cashing your tickets today. This year, Jose Quintana for the Mets has been stellar. And what I like about him is he's steady. Averaging 13 plus DK every single start. Averaging 4 plus strikeouts every single start. No more than 3 runs allowed. Oh, and by the way, has pitched his last 3 against Cincinnati, Atlanta, and Pittsburgh. All really good offenses that he's been able to stymie. Now let's head to the wood. And let's go value bats and Lars Newport 4100 versus Brandon foot again Lars has no zero point games he's hit safely in the last four and Brandon Foot. let me just give you what he's done 21 hits 13 runs and four home runs in his last three. Oh, and by the way he has double the whip and double the ERA and batting average in away games it's hitting season in St. Louis and that's where they're at now let's head out to Colorado and attack my man Austin Gomber now the thing I like about this is number one it's Coors Field we all know that advance but on the other side the value you bet we're going to go with is high song kim at 4500 he had a $700 salary jump 700 in one star goes from 38 to 45 he's more productive away and he has 28 dk in his last three i love this play tonight and let's go to metland let's go to stalling Marte. 4000 versus keaton win now here's the thing san francisco has a tremendously big part huge right and left center fields Marte can hit all over the field he could still run the base pass with the best of them oh and by the way if you take out his last two at bats against la he has 67 dk points in his last three games ridiculous let's get the ffvps let's stick with new york and go right back to dj stewart 2900 still at that ffvp level against keaton win which we said listen oh and by the way win home games six era very in boast he gives up hits and walks and dj's been on fire a 1201 ops in a way games and a 737 slug give me him all day and then another guy who's just getting back on the scene only five games since coming back from injury and that's trevor larnick from the minnesota twins goes up against my man jonathan cannon who was great is only one star first star but you know how it happens the second time around more film is given and trevor larnick since coming back positive point production his last three games 200 dollars salary jump and still warming up now let's head to everybody's favorite the home run props and we're gonna ride my man and Lords Gurriel for Arizona going up against the guy I like to attack and that's Lance Lynn. Four home runs in all of his starts already this year. He throws flat balls, low velocity, and guess what? This is a great home run park in St. Louis when the weather gets nice. The ball just flies out of there. Gurriel had 24 home runs last year and he's still hitting his stride again. He has six hits in the last three games already with five home runs and right now plus 560 you can get it on FanDuel. Make sure you get over to windowysports.com and click on that fantastic promo that we have right now. There is a link in this podcast for Home Run 100. That is where you get $100 off 
one of our biggest deals ever to get everything we offer every tool every projection model every optimizer every article every discord bet and prop and message alive right here at windailysports.com and most importantly you help me show that i'm doing the job that they hired me to do home run 100 make sure you click on it make sure you sign up don't get left out in the dust and start cashing your tickets today. I'm going to go Kansas City. Salvador Perez, the veteran catcher, just continues to get it done. Going up against Kikuchi now. I like Kikuchi a lot, but he throws really hard. And he gets hit a lot because of his hard velocity. And listen, I will go left versus righty any day. The vet has been great at a 333 clip this year. He's taking bitches and hitting the ball harder than ever. Then let's go right back to Austin Gomber. Let's attack him again. Fernando Tatis, one of the hottest hitters in the game right now, showing that, all right, the roids are gone. It is what it is, but he's still a fantastic talent. Only a plus 280 on FanDuel, but here's the thing. Coors Field, he's a 918 OPS on road games. And Austin Gomber has given up eight walks and 22 hits and already four home runs. Just shows that everybody is hitting the ball against Austin. Now let's get to the parlays. We're going to go K-Pick Parlay. This is an SGP. X, right? You're taking a spot from every single game or at least the ones that you like. So these are all going to be pitchers. I'm going to go with Kikuchi at six plus strikeouts. You can get this at the alternate line. I like Bryce Elder at four plus strikeouts. You get that at the alternate line. I like Jose Quintana at four plus strikeouts. You can get that at the alternate line. Now, simple over and unders are two guys. Ross Detmers, who's been electric. I like his over six and a half Ks. And I love Dylan Cease. He's at least had seven Ks in each game. I like his over seven and a half against a really bad Colorado Rockies team. That'll give you a plus 14.52 hit. And let's go back to our HRR pick parlay. Remember, we hit this on Friday at a plus 10.77. Tonight, it's going to be plus 16.72. This is who we're going with. We're going to ride Lourdes Goriel over one and a half. We're going to ride Sterling Marte over one and a half. We're going to ride the red hot Marcel Ozuna at over one and a half. And then we're going to bank on Hyson Kim, who I said is going to have a good game at over two and a half, and back it up with my man Sal Perez at over one and a half. That, again, will give you plus 16.72. Let's hit another parlay. Let's hit another home run prop. And let's get more value right here on the Fantasy Firebox. Everybody, good luck, and we'll catch you in the threads.